Hi, you're at Steve Morris Engines. I'm Steve Morris, and this is one of our uh, entry-level LS packages that we did for a customer of ours, uh, Derek Wilcox, down in Tennessee. And uh, this is our 1,000 uh, horsepower pump gas uh, street daily driver uh, combination. Now, I am going to show you, uh, we're going to pull it right now because Derek wanted me to go ahead and put it on race gas uh, and turn it up a little bit. And uh, so we are doing that. And I'll show you that dyno pull. And I'll show you the uh, dyno pull from uh, uh, the 93 octane uh, pump gas setup. But you can see here, this has one of our 73 millimeter, or I'm sorry, 75 millimeter turbos. Also has uh, one of our kits uh, that we are going to be building. Uh, so a simple, uh, easy to install, kind of a street rod, uh, single turbo mount. Uh, kit, you can kind of see it there, uh, twin 38 millimeter wastegates, um, and we're going to do maybe a little bit of revision on this thing and uh, you know to kind of make it a nice all around, all together uh, good stainless steel uh, with manifolds uh, set up for a T6 uh, flange and you know we could adapt it over to the T4 flange too for some of the other turbos. But uh, anyways, uh, this is, has one of our packages, like I said this is entry level uh, you know, a little more uh, economy based. Uh, we have super good pricing on all this stuff. Very competitive with everybody else. It has one of our stage two cam, two, stage two hydraulic roller camshafts in it. We still use the stock uh, LS3 intake manifold for this. Uh, it's based off the LS3, so it's still 376 cubic inches. In fact, it still uses their stock intake or stock exhaust manifolds. <clears throat> Excuse me, Holly EFI system with Holly Boost Control down there. And uh, has our fulcrum kit, du dual spring kit, uh, fulcrum kit for the rocker arms, our push rod, uh, our piston and rod package. So, uh, yeah, this thing will make a thousand horsepower. In fact, we dynoed these things stock to two failures several times. Uh, just trying to see, okay, exactly how much horsepower do these things make stock when they fail and uh, they fail at a thousand horsepower. They'll usually break a piston and then after that they start breaking connecting rods and uh, having other problems but uh, they'll always knock the pistons out of them. Um, along with other problems we've popped the head off a valve, we've done some other things. Not on this motor. That was testing quite a long time ago. So we've already figured out all the stuff that these things need uh, including valves, springs, retainers, uh, keepers with the rock arm pull from kit. Um, we know everything that these things need in order just to make this, including the camshaft, the end piston, rod package to be good, durable, dependable pieces. Uh, this motor is very similar to the motor that's in my Trailblazer, uh, our shop truck. So, uh, in fact, it's uh, nearly identical. I just have a different camshaft as I'm always trying different stuff and uh, actually developing and testing different stuff. But anyways, what we'll do here is uh, we're going to go out and make a pull on this thing and uh, show you the numbers. Now remember this will be on race gas and also what I'm doing here with the uh, intercooler is we're just trying to, he's probably going to have an air to air intercooler in this, we're not real sure so I just monitor our water temperature uh, trying to simulate air intake temperatures uh, that would be similar to a air to air intercooler not a water to air intercooler so uh, this would be similar to a air to air intercooler system um, that we uh, uh, just for testing purposes. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to set the camera down out in the uh, outside and we'll make a pull. Now this is on, uh, let's scroll right over the screen here, 
Now this is on a, a, like a 110, 112 fuel. Um, still, uh, you know, this motor, I kind of rate it at the, uh, uh, we, well, we rate this at a thousand horsepower level. Uh, you put race gas in it and you can turn up the boost a little bit and I'll cover that in the, uh, the holly here. Uh, show you where we're at with it. Um, they will make some more horsepower, just like what this is. Uh, and we could probably even, you know, tell the truth, we could probably even lean on this just a little bit more if we wanted to. But, you know, it's, it starts rolling over here a little bit, and I'd have to throw a bunch more boost because we're not at, uh, we're not at 20 pounds of boost. Um, we're lower than that. And, not, and I'll show you that here in just a second. But as you can see, uh, peak torque, 1118 at 5,500, and uh, peak horsepower, 1183 at the 61. Now keep in mind, this has one of our base street roll, uh, street hydraulic rollers, right? You know, our stage two camshaft. So uh, something real simple, real easy piece. Um, drive it from here back to California and back. It, it you know, it doesn't matter. Uh, real easy piece to make happen. And we start getting a little bit, you know, for that turbo, just a little bit limited. And you know, stock manifolds. You know, like I said, this is just a uh, a good general entry level deal uh, to make real good power, have a real good piece, dependable because we throw good parts in it. Uh, we don't just run the stock stuff, and uh, you know, it just makes a real good uh, combination. Uh, I can go over some of the numbers here for you. All the way down at 3,500, we're at uh, 766 foot pounds of torque, and I'll give you some boost curves here too. Uh, 4,500, we're at 925 torque, 789 horsepower. And we can, I can turn the boost up significantly down here, uh, but that's hard on motor parts, uh, FYI. Uh, so we don't like to do that. Uh, let's see here, and then at 5,500, you know, we're at that 1118 peak torque, uh, the horsepower 1166, uh, 1180, 1183, 78, 69, 60, 54, 61. So it just starts to roll uh, right over here, uh, which is normal. And actually, if we take a look at the uh, boost curve, it probably just starts to fall off there. So let's uh, take a look over here. Uh, forgive the, uh, oh, there's my stamp -a bottle. That's awkward. Uh, anyways, let me uh, download this thing and move the camera around and uh, I'll get this a little better so you can see it. All right, now you can see here, uh, we just downloaded the data log off the Holly. Uh, popped up on screen. Show you a couple little things here uh, of interest. Uh, this is the boost line right here. In fact, let me get some of this other stuff out of the way uh, so it's a little easier to read. And there we go. Uh, this is our boost line. Uh, engine RPM wise, that's 4,000 RPM there. We can scroll down. Uh, 4,000, we're making 9 PSI a boost. Um, and then as we go up, you can see here, that's where I start ramping in boost up here. And you can see, it, it, it probably noses over it a little bit. It, it would flatten out more than it would nose over. But you can see right here, our boost starts to nose over. We had uh, 18 and a half pounds of boost peak. And uh, right at the end of the pull at 6,600, uh, it lost uh, a pound of boost. So it was just going a little bit backwards right there. Um, not uncommon, not a big deal. Um, our AFR, everything's looking real good. Uh, O2 corrections looking real good, no problem there. As you can see down here too, uh, I like to use the stock no uh, knock sensors, and uh, this is all knock. Now, uh, uh, just to give you a little heads up here, a little bit of information, because uh, I don't mind giving free information on some things, uh, but here in this video, it's all cool. Uh, you can see here our knock level is uh, only 6%, so you're only looking at 6-7% knock level, so that's not enough. Uh, that's In general, that's just noise, and if you look up here, uh, actually, we, you know, we take enough timing out of it that it actually stops knocking at wide open throttle and as it starts to RPM, which is also normal uh, with motors knock at peak torque numbers, uh, not at uh, uh, peak horsepower numbers, typically, unless your tune-up's way off. But anyways, uh, very good. Super happy with that. And uh, now, let's uh, go over here again, and I will uh, backtrack up, and I will show you the, uh, let me set the tripod up again here. And I'll show you what this made on actual pump gas. All right, now here we can see this was the uh, the pump gas tune. I'm not going to bore you with just watching uh, repetitive uh, dyno pulls, but uh, this was on pump gas. Uh, so it's clearly we had this all set up beforehand. Uh, 1,041 at uh, 5,600, 1,013 at 5,300. Now this was at um, this was at uh, 15 pounds of boost peak 
and then it tapered off down here into uh, 14 pounds of boost. Now, I, we can correct that, but uh, I'm not real concerned with it because uh, we're trying to be straight on pump gas. So I'm not real concerned with this thing laying over just a little bit here uh, at the end. Uh, you can see here, uh, you know, it, it did end up going down to uh, 1,015, uh, but we're still well over what our, you know, our advertised 1,000 horsepower packages. So uh, peak torque 1013, peak horsepower 1041 on straight 93 octane gas. Like I said, this was at a peak uh, boost of 15, went down to 14, uh, almost 13 and a half over here. So anyways, uh, very happy with this. Uh, I think uh, Derek's going to be real happy as he puts this in, well, I'm not even sure what he's going to put it in. I think he's going to put it in a Colorado pickup truck or something. I'm not exactly sure. But uh, anyways, uh, I'm Steve Morris, Steve Morris Engines. Have a great day.